Chofi. It's two legends, set eight of the One Piece card game. And I'm gonna strip them and talk about how I edit my videos. So what I've been doing this set, I don't know, if this is your first time here, you should definitely smash that subscription button because you can learn some really useless information and watch a lot, a lot, a lot of cards get opened pretty much on a weekly basis. But for all of you aspiring YouTube content creators out there, um, I think that making YouTube content is really fun. I think it's definitely a worthwhile thing to do if you're really passionate about a game and you enjoy, uh, if you enjoy the game. You know, for me, I've kind of created a formula for my YouTube content creation to make it manageable because the issue is that it's not, that's my father-in-law hammering, uh, hammering in my basement. He's installing some really helpful electrical stuff for me, so please excuse the banging if you do hear it in the background but I'm gonna continue making this shrippin' video. So I think that it's very useful to uh, make do stuff that you feel good about. And if you feel good about making YouTube content, you should do it. So that was kind of really the whole synopsis of making content. But I'm gonna go into how I edit videos. So the way that I edit videos is I use a program called Premiere Pro. It's an Adobe program. I use the Adobe Suite because I use Adobe a ton. I use Photoshop. Oh, choppy. That's a, that's a cute looking card there. Um, I use the Adobe Suite because specifically I use, um, oh, sorry, let's keep that on the frame. I use Photoshop a ton for my card designs from Kaizoku Cards, which I should actually show off one of my Kaizoku Cards here. This is a card I made from Kaizoku Cards. This is a Rob Lucci manga face leader. Um, I showed my other Lucci last week. Uh, KaizokuCards.com, you can check it out. I'm thinking about selling some sealed product on there also, possibly signed. If that's something people are interested in. I'd love to hear your feedback in the uh, comments below. Um, but yeah, making some uh, custom proxies over there. It really helps the channel out and helps me continue shrippening because pretty much the majority of those proceeds goes to what uh, you see me doing here right now. Um, but yeah, so I use Premiere Pro. I, I organize all my videos, right? I record, as I told you last week, I record all my videos in two cases in one week or one day. I just open make six videos, two boxes at a time, like I'm doing right this very second. And then I take those videos and I put them into Premiere Pro. I use that clap signature that I told you all about in the second video of this series to correlate the three uh, clips, right? Because I have two cameras. I have my face camera, I have my hand camera, and my microphone. And when I do that clap, actually I clap three times, at the beginning of the video, I use that bit of information that's left in the video file from each camera and my microphone to correlate the three videos. And then I go to the very beginning of my video, I crop my video right at the beginning, so I cut out the extra, ooh, Nami, yes, that's my third one of these, so I'm one away from a playset. I really want to play out of this because I'm making this weird SC13 Luffy list that uses this card. That hopefully I'll do a deck profile on it if it works. But we'll see. I still haven't tested it. I have not. I played like three games in one piece in the last couple weeks. And I'm hoping to do some content also, like uh, gameplay content. Once I really get my studio set up here, I'm going to make a little table where I can play some games. I may even start a podcast with my sensei Miguel. Anyway, all that aside. Um, yeah, so I correlate them, I cut the front, I go to the end, I cut the end, I use the little edit uh, tool so that I can crop the camera so that you just get to see, you know, my face on the side. I put that up on the side and I put the cards on one side. I make sure that it's all in frame. And then for my weekly videos, I hardly even touch them. I do almost no editing because I do not have time to edit videos. The first video that I made, it took me 17 hours to edit that video. I do not have 17 hours every week to dedicate to shrimping videos. As much as I love to shrimp them, I just can't do that. So what I do is I just edit the front, I edit the end, I make it my face big again when I give my dental tooth tip, and I put a really, 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 really quick little segment video at the beginning. You may recognize it. It played uh, at the beginning of this video when it goes don't don't and it shows this thing. And that's just kind of my branding because this is my logo. Bless him. I haven't blessed him with the pack. I should really bless him a pack. Let's really bless him the pack. Maybe that'll be a Rayleigh manga rare. You know? Um, 
Yeah, and then I just I just cut that. Cut the end, cut the beginning to try and find a Ooh, Queen SP. Yes. This is really the SP that I want most of because I feel like this is the card that I play in the majority of the decks that I play. Especially because I'm playing Red Purple Luffy, which if you've seen the Red Purple Luffy leader I made at Kaiser Kun Cards recently, it's pretty dope. It's double sided so you can flip it over when you do your effect. Um, but this is for sure a four of in this in this list. This card is just so good. I'm so glad that they finally reprinted it. So hype pull. I think in the last case we pulled that and Bonnie, which were like pretty amazing, pretty amazing pulls. I think there's also a pudding and an ace and I don't remember who else. I think there's five of them, but I can't quite remember. Um, yeah, so I just edit that. And then I usually find like a reel that I made on Kaiser Cars. I put it at the end. And then the one thing I do that is actually my buddy Willis's idea, who my friend from dental school, he was like, you should put a little clip at the beginning of the video. So I go through my video and I try and find like the most hype moment of the video. When I find that, I crow, oh, really? All right. We are on a, we're on a double hit box so far, so there could be, I think, I feel like this should be a three hit box, but I find like the most hype moment, and I take that most hype moment and I slap it right in the front of the video. And I try and keep it really short, because you know, I think people need to get into the video. And if there's like a bunch of stuff that you have to watch, and I'm like doing announcements and talking about blah, 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 like that's boring. People are gonna click away. I wouldn't watch that, so why do I wanna make someone else watch that? And I think that's actually a really good thing when you're making videos. Think about like, what do you wanna watch when you watch a YouTube video? What I wanna watch is this card in each pack. I wanna watch that last card in each pack. I don't wanna see any of the other cards. I don't care. I do have to at least open the blossom. You know, I, I'll, I'll see those other cards, or I'm sure there's other people that are showing those other cards, but they don't matter to me. I just wanna see the hot card, and that's at the back of the pack. So that's what I show in my videos. And this is where I'll pull. So pull those five cards in this video. Pretty good. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. A dental tooth tip to you would be figure out a way to clean between your teeth. And it's not really just pushing food out from between your teeth, but it's cleaning down like into the gums a little bit. You don't want to make it hurt really bad, but you want to get in there and clean the stuff out of that pocket, whether it's a water pick, whether it's a flosser, whatever it is. The stuff that collects down there that attracts bacteria, those bacteria break down the tissue connection between your gum and your tooth and they create a place for bacteria to get into the bone and then they start reducing the bone height. So you really want to protect that tissue connection by cleaning it. And I'll see y'all in the next one.